Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the May Love reading for the Libra for May 2016. So I'm going to be doing a six card spread, and um, this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to um, cover the subconscious, what you need to be aware of. Um, what sexual chemistry you're going to have with this person, the emotional connection, outside influences. Is this person long term? And then a final outcome card. So we're going to be looking for May 2016 for the Libra. Um, by the way, make sure that you subscribe for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I already reached 3,000 subscribers since I first mentioned it, so... Um, thank you so much for subbing and I'll be making a video <laughs> about the giveaway very soon. Okay, Libra, so card number one is the Six of Cups. So <clears throat> there's a really um, deep emotional connection with someone from the past that you have. Okay, so it, this is, um, you're really thinking about this person a lot. Okay, or this person is in your subconscious. So let me just tell you about position number one. Um, this is basically an advice card or what you should do now. Um, and it lets you, um, it lets your subconscious tell you what you should be aware of in this particular situation, either about yourself or about the other person. So, I mean, in relation to looking at this card to just tell you about that other person, This, it could be for some of you Libras that this person, um, you know, if you're involved with someone, um, this person may be thinking about someone else from the past or someone from the past. I'm not sure. It could also mean that someone from the past is coming back is what I'm leaning more towards. But when I look at this card in terms of your partner, it could be, I mean, it's the same thing, you know. So if I were to try to interpret this card to be able to tell you anything about this person, it would mean that they that they would be someone from your past is what I would say. So I'm, I'm seeing reunions for a lot of you Libras off, you know, off top. Now, your sexual chemistry with this person is the Knight of Swords. How I would interpret this is because it's a sword suit. So this is the knight. And I really feel like there's a lot of mental stuff. Okay, a lot of mental stuff. Um, especially if you do a lot of online dating. Um, a lot of times with when I see the swords, you know, I can see computer you know connection or something because you have to use a lot of mental power to connect with somebody online so I would say this the sexual connection or the sexual chemistry um, you know the knight is a very quick thinking perceptive person so you know it is um, an intuitive sexual chemistry is what I would say it's a trying to think of what it's it's an easily pers I, I guess how can I put this as far as with the perception I guess it's an easily perceived chemistry so what I'm trying to say is it's a hard it's it's a hard sexual chemistry so for a lot of you Libras that are single when you meet someone the sexual chemistry is going to be instant okay and if you're already involved with someone
Uh, maybe the Knight of Swords could mean that the sexual chemistry is going to deepen. Or maybe it's a protective energy because it is a knight. Is what I'm seeing for some of you Libras. You know, either way, whether or not it represents you or you are the partner. Um, the emotional connection is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a pretty good connection. The nine is almost at a completion. It's it's kind of like when you're almost at the finish line of something. So it's like you guys are working on the emotional connection. Maybe working to <clears throat> maybe deepen it. This person might be teaching you something. Maybe this person might be teaching you a lot. You might look up to them. You're kind of like an apprentice of them. So the emotional connection is kind of like, you know, teacher student almost. Okay. This person is trying to, you know, advise you or um, give you advice. Hold on a second. Up. Oh, this is the nine. I don't know why I was thinking about the eight. It's the same thing almost. It's a step above it though. Okay. You know, when you get to the nine of pentacles, <clears throat> it's, it's about abundance and security. So it's a very secure emotional connection. Okay. is what I'm seeing. And you're feeling really secure. And I, I see a lot of good cards for you, Libra, because I noticed that in my last reading, a lot of the Libras was like, oh my God, I'm so disappointed. My reading is so hard. But well, this one is a whole lot better. So I hope you're happy. The Nine of Pentacles um, is about an abundance of emotional support. So this is a really good card. Okay. Um, and it, the outside influences though, the external influences, you've got the Knight of Cups. So this is a literal person. This person is sort of emotional. You know, or they sort of have feelings for you. And I can kind of see, um, I can see that there's someone else in the picture, you know, that's kind of trying to make you offers. Um, the Knight of Cups to me can also symbolize a really protective energy. Um, the Cups is, you know, a very, I'd say, you know, this is empathy, you know, with the emotions and everything. And the Knight of Cups is just very empathetic. So I'm sensing that, you know, this person really has a lot of... Um, a lot of feelings for you. I think this Knight of Cups could stand for either you or your partner. I think it's when, but when we're looking at external influences, I do see a lot of support from the Knight of Cups. So I do see support for the relationship. Now, um, is this person long term? You did get the Emperor. So this is a major arcana. So I would say for a lot of you Libras, you know, if you meet someone this month, this person is, is going to be very authoritative authoritative um and a leader okay so it's definitely an alpha here when you get the emperor okay and it's also a major arcana card so this means this is a major event that's going to happen um so the emperor definitely is a yes that this person is long term uh very responsible your final card though the outcome is the Nine of Cups. So, you know, the Nine of Cups is typically the Cup of Wishes. So I don't really see you settling down this month. I kind of see it as, as taking it a little slow. You know, I kind of see if you meet this person, you know, this month, they're going to take the time to court you. 
So you're going to do a lot of daydreaming about this person. And there's nothing wrong with daydreaming. It doesn't mean you're obsessed with them or anything. It just means that you like them. You know? But the Nine of Cups does say to me, um, you know, for you, for those of you already involved with someone, the Nine of Cups is a really um, happy card. Okay, for you. So it's it's um, it's good news either way around for the Libra this month. But I just want to remind um, some of the Libras I don't know because it is a nine. I think it the nine is kind of a you know it's it's a good number. You know, I mean, you're definitely going to get closer to this person. And if you're single, um, you could potentially, you know, be asked, you know, to be to get engaged or something. But I see with this nine of cups, a lot of you Libras just having fun for the month of May is what I'm saying. You know, especially if you're single. And if you're involved with someone, it does mean that the relationship is going to get uh, sweeter, you know, and better. Um, but this is also a good time to meet people if you are single. Now, I do see for some of you Libras, you are going to, um, you know, revisit someone from your past. Um, but I think what you're getting, you know, the Six of Cups and then the Nine of Cups. And the nine being a wish card. Um, the You know, the nine of cups does mean that what, you know, um, it can mean what you are hoping for or dreaming about. Most, most is very likely to be yours in a brief, in a brief period of time, though. Okay, so, you know, it, this card just, it kind of looks like you're going to sort of take it slow. Also, another thing about um, the uh, another thing about the Nine of Cups is that this is a very powerful indicator of yes. Um, but it, you know, it's not carved in stone. But it is a good, it is a good happy card. Um, it's also very, you know, the illustration confuses me a little bit because um, he is rubbing on the genie lamp and. You can see the genie coming out of the lamp. You can see sort of the blue aura around the genie and the tail and how he sort of looks like a feather at the bottom. So, I mean, this is also, in my opinion, a very spiritual card. You know, you using um, some sort of, you know, daily affirmations or some sort of um, law of attraction techniques to you know, attract the happiness that you want. Um, that's what I get from the illustration. And the illustration confuses me, you know, knowing that this is the wish card, yes, but there's also other stuff about it. So um, if you want a personalized reading, my website is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.